Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Look, Grand Fest ended, Splatoon 3 is still not dead, despite what people are saying. Just because the content ended doesn't mean that the game ended. Still having fun with the game, still having fun with the Cavitator, such a goaded weapon. I would like to see more weapon concepts like that, but I'm not going to talk about that. I want to talk about five things I would like to see for Splatoon 4. I'm gonna talk about two for the multiplayer, two for Salmon Run, and one for story mode. And I'm gonna start off with multiplayer. So for the multiplayer, I would like to see one, dedicated roles, and two, customizable weapons. My reason for dedicated roles is that, personally, I don't find the matchmaking system relatively good. It's not perfect, but it's not like terrible. But at the same time, it could be improved. I think roles could absolutely establish not only better matchmaking, but also reward uh implement rewarding a rewarding system so that they could enhance play styles personally that's what i believe roles can have and if they really wanted to they could make a role specifically meant for splatoon that could make this shooter even more unique than it already is that's what i believe roles could do roles have so much and so that they have so much they can implement it's honestly crazy just thinking about it they're gonna implement an attacker a defender a support role heck maybe the fourth one could be something crazy like a speedster controller a flanker a painter stuff like that you know that would be awesome I, I would absolutely like to see this idea being touched on in the sequel for splatoon 3 and something i would also like to see added for the multiplayer mode this could be an exclusive thing is customizable weapons some people may disagree or agree with me but for the most part i think everyone can agree that adding customizability would enhance the replayability of the game now it, it may sound weird saying the word replayability is like what do you mean so the thing is when you have what like 14 subs and how many specials were in splatoon 3 i think 19 right 19 specials that's already so much to work with your weapon if it's only preset with only two kits doesn't get to play the full extension of the game you're only playing the game at a limited you're only playing the game in what just a few weapons a few subs a few specials that you don't even play if i played a cavitator right and i want to play something like curling bomber triple splashdown i i want that i want that function to be in the thing because i want to see how it works or maybe something like Point Sensor and Trizuka, or maybe something as stupid as Ink Mine and Reef Slider, or maybe something as crazy as, as Sprinkler and Kraken, I don't know, man. You know, just, there's something to add there. There's something to play, there's something worth testing, there's something worth experimenting. To take away that, that freedom to express your play style, it just limits the replayability. It re limits the function of a player expressing and having fun in a multiplayer match, especially if you want to play something as casual as Turf War. I, I believe these two points should be something that they should implement in the next sequel so that they add a lot more replayability. They add a new function, a new system with more rewards and something that increases replayability. I believe these are two things they should add in the next Splatoon sequel for the multiplayer mode. All right, I'm done talking about the multiplayer mode. Let's talk about the goaded Salmon Run mode. There are two things I would like to see for Salmon Run. The first one is roguelike elements, and the second one is a longer game mode. My reason for the roguelike elements is to enhance replayability and add more to it. They could very well add a very new system, very new abilities, experiment with weapons, and also experiment with unique functions that apply to weapons. Something that really occurs to my mind is that why some weapons in the multiplayer mode aren't unique. They could do this in Salmon Run. For example, if they put an arrow spray on Salmon Run, instead of it shooting really fast with a very inaccurate, uh, with a very inaccurate well, projectile, obviously, they could very well make a multi-shot weapon that is only unique to this weapon. Not even, it could it could very well work. That doesn't even just apply to arrow spray. Maybe if they really wanted to, they could add a double, uh, a double blaster shot to the regular blasters, where if you shoot, there's one that shoots in front of you and the other that shoots behind you. 
that, that's pretty cool. And you can upgrade it to where it shoots in multiple directions. Holy crap, there, there's just so much that could work here. There's so much experimenting. There's so much that could honestly seem crazy and would honestly be hectic. <laughs> it would be all over the place. I think it would be funny, it would be chaotic, it would be crazy, it would be fun, it would be very gimmicky, It just implement crazy strategies. The longer game mode will also apply to roguelike if they do decide to do something like this. If the game could last for like 30, an hour, maybe even 5 hours, <laughs> where you can do crazy and wacky stuff and the difficulty also goes up while you do get rewards with it, that would be so much fun. That would just add the most craziest the most devious, the most fun mode in the game. I would absolutely like to see something like that. Something that just blows people's mind the more they play it and the more they mess around with it will keep coming back to. I, I genuinely think Salmon Run has that potential where it can just be its own game and its own wacky adventure and its own wacky thing. That to me is what I would like to see in Salmon Run at least. All right, I'm done talking about Salmon Run and I'm done talking about multiplayer. There's still some ideas I would like to talk about later in the future, but I'm gonna dedicate this last point to the story mode. So the one thing I would like to see for the story mode is for them to add a unique main character as a protagonist. I did not like how my character was just boring and bland and plain, just an empty husk in Splatoon 3 story mode. I that doesn't reflect me at all. That doesn't reflect who I am. So, I mean, I have a problem with that. If they decide to add a story mode for the next sequel of Splatoon 3, they should absolutely go to the route of making a unique character as a protagonist, where I see through their eyes, where I can experience a story where they grow and develop, where I can see somebody's life, where I can see something happen. You know, where they crack their own joke, they make their own sarcastic remarks, where they make their beliefs or where they even show their own beliefs and add more to their personality where they make new people make new friends you know unique characters it doesn't need to be something as celebrities or something as you know people at the top they could just very well be you know normal people that you would see every day and you just make friends with them i would like to see something like that just something something simple i, I would love to see something like that for the story mode and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily need to be about saving the world or it doesn't need to be about you know, just going to the supermarket and getting groceries. It just, it could very well be a story of a kid going through high school and making friends, having a good time. Or maybe a kid falling in love with turf war when a friend, yeah, uh, when a friend just talks about it. Stuff like that. That would totally be nice. That's what I would like to see in the story mode. Okay, those are all the talking points that I would like to end on. I really did enjoy making this video. I really like talking about the ideas, the concepts that could happen in this game. I think it's really fun. And I just enjoyed making this video overall. So thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day.